said um my name is lucas and i'm just here looking for a good time so hit me up if you want a good time <laughs> that was my joke i gotta get people laughing to get comfortable um no but yeah i uh graduated from auburn in december and i'm going to east asia in the fall for a year and um so i'm excited i'm in like a transitional stage in life i'm not in school but i'm not on staff but um yeah so i grew up in a very solid christian home my parents lead uh, teach Sunday school class. I went to church every Sunday and I was saved at the age of eight, was baptized. And I was a pretty good kid until about 10th grade. I turned 16 and I got a taste of freedom with, um, I just ran with a bad group of kids or guys. And, um, we started drinking and getting into drugs and smoking weed and stuff. And so I, uh, yeah, I lived that life from starting at age of 16 all the way through, my sophomore year in college, um, so for like six, five or six years, and um, come sophomore year, I uh, I just started realizing how insecure I was, and that I would just do stuff to hang out with people. I didn't really care about what I was actually doing. I just wanted to be around guys, and I really cared about what people thought about me, And um, but I still continued in it, and come right after finals my sophomore year in December, I got a DUI, and I spent a month at home with my parents as a convicted felon, <laughs> and uh, I was really frustrated at God, and for about two months, I just, I didn't really understand it, and um, so finally, about two months later, I decided that I would give God a chance, and I sat down and opened up my Bible, opened up a devotional, and started playing some worship music, and um, where I landed was John 1. And um, I'm going to read that real quick. It says, he, he existed in the beginning with God. God created everything through him, and nothing was created except through him. The word gave, gave life to everything that was created, and his life brought light to everyone. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never extinguish it. And, I mean, that just really hit my heart deep that no matter what amount of darkness that I was in, his light is going to shine brighter. And no matter how the amount of time that I spent in that darkness, his light will be brighter. And I was listening to a song, and it's just this whole theme of light came on. Um, there's a song that I was listening to called SMS by uh, David Crowder. It says, shine your light so I can see you. Pull me up so I can be near you. Hold me. I need to be loved. Can you overcome this heart that has overcome I mean, that's literally my prayer. I was like, I am so far away from you, God, and I don't even know what I'm really doing right now. And, um, yeah, so I just want to encourage you all that whatever darkness you feel like you brought down here or that you're living in right now, Jesus' light is so much brighter. And, um, yeah, it's been a struggle since then. Like, I still have a lot of baggage and skeletons in the closet, I guess you could say, with that past life that I lived um, you know, I have to avoid situations where I could flip up and drink too much or, um, you know, just anything like that. But, um, oh, one more cool thing I wanted to add is that my mom named me Lucas. It means bringer of light. And um, so that was really powerful that my, like, official moment of conversion was all about Jesus' light shining through me. And um, he brought life into my life before I can bring life. I mean, brought light into my life before I can bring light, like my name says. And, um, yeah, just thought that was cool. So, um, yeah, that's my testimony. Now Josh is going to come up and uh, share a little bit about how.